The time for replacing the thermostat has arrived and you should know how to do it properly. Unfortunately, there are a lot of guides with misleading information and it can do actually more harm than good for you. So I'm glad you found this in-depth guide describing everything you need to know about thermostat wiring. It is very important you know how to replace a thermostat properly. So in this video, you'll learn step by step how to install the new thermostat, no matter which type of thermostat you own. But before jumping straight into that, take notes on the wiring color codes as they're essential in this process. When you first open the thermostat, you'll have 16 sockets on its base marked with different letters, which I'll now put on the screen. It all depends on your thermostat wires because two wire or three wire thermostats might not have all of these, but that's not so important. For each terminal, there is a specific wire marked with a color. The most important thing is to learn the wire colors and know what they do. So first is black or blue wire marked with a C. The C wire is connected directly to the transformer and is part of a 24 volt electric circuit. In a modern smart thermostat, the black or blue wire is usually connected to the C terminal. If you have an older thermostat, you might not have the C wire because they work on demand and not continuously. Red wire marked with an R or RC. You can think of the red wire as the power wire as they provide 24 hour volts to air conditioners. No matter what model of thermostat you might have, all of them have a red wire. White wire marked with a W1 or W2. You can think about white wires as a snow because they are strictly for heating. They can be found in gas thermostats and you probably won't find them in an air conditioner thermostat. It goes directly to the heating source or even heat pumps. W2 is a different from W1 because it's made from two-stage heating often found in heat pumps. Orange and blue wire marked with O slash B. The orange wire is for valve cooling and is often found in large heat pumps in the outdoor unit. On the other side, the blue wire is for reverse valve heating. As you can see, they're kind of similar, just meant for different occasions. Green wire marked with G. This one is specific as it goes directly into the fan. There isn't anything particular about it and they are easy to remember. Yellow wire marked with a Y1 or Y2. Y1 is for one stage cooling found in basic air conditioners that most of us have at home. It's yellow and it's very easy to spot. Y2 is for more advanced air conditioning systems that have two compressors or two stage compressor. In most cases, you'll have Y1 in your thermostat and also some other wires. So these terminals are rarely used and they're usually on the right side of the thermostat. However, you must know that sometimes wire codes can have different colors than we mentioned here. It all depends on the technician who installed the thermostat. However, don't worry, in most cases, the wire codes have these colors we've just mentioned. So what is the best way to remove the old thermostat? Of course, it's easy for a technician to replace an old thermostat when you've seen these color codes hundreds and thousands of times already. But what should an average Joe do? Well, you'd be surprised how simple it is. Just take a picture. So if you unscrew the terminal and remove all the wires, you might forget how to connect each one properly. So just take a picture of an old thermostat before moving further. Now, a lot of people think that you can remove the thermostat right away and you can easily rearrange wires. The problem is that the wires can easily be lost in the wall and you'll have hard time reaching them. You probably want to avoid it, so just spread the wires and bend them outwards as it will prevent them from getting lost behind the wall. By this time, you should be able to remove the old thermostat and now we come to a more interesting part. So installing a new thermostat. Um, now that you have the new thermostat in the exact same position as the old thermostat, start by reconnecting wire by wire the same way you have been connected with, with an old thermostat. Luckily, you should have a photo on your phone that helps you connect it properly. Don't worry if you didn't take a photo, just rewatch the first part of this video where we explain all the color codes you need. However, just a quick summary again, blue wires are for cooling, white wires are for heating, RH are heating power, RC are cooling power, green wires are for fan, and red wires are for power. When you're connecting the wires, it is very important that you tighten down the screw. Once you've checked it's tightened enough, you can move on to the new wire. So these are the basics of wiring a thermostat. Now let's talk about different types of thermostat wiring. So first we have two wire thermostat wiring, 
which is used for furnaces only and is only two wires as the name says. It only has red wire for power and then white wire for heating. Wiring this type of thermostat is very easy and you can even do it blindfolded. Well, I'm just kidding, don't try that. <laughs> so let's break everything step by step. Remove the thermostat, take the photo of the properly positioned wires, unscrew both wires from the terminal, put the new two wires in the thermostat in the same path as they were in the old thermostat, and then put the control panel back once you've reconnected both wires. It's as simple as that. If you've done everything properly, the new wires should control everything the same way as the old thermostat. Next one is free wire thermostat wiring, and this is used for boilers and heaters, so usually in the winter. The free wires have the following codes. R, which is red wire for power, W, which is white wire, and then G for green wire. Same as with two wire thermostat, you just need to follow the exact same step-by-step -step process. However, side note, white wire is sometimes marked with W or, or W1, so don't get confused with both as it all depends on the thermostat model that you have. Four wire thermostat wiring. This type of wiring is mostly used in modern smart thermostats such as Google Nest, which is the best thermostat on the market in my opinion. In addition to red, green and white wires, this type of thermostat also has a blue or yellow wire for cooling. You can see these thermostats on HVAC devices that can both cool or heat your home. The only thing you have to pay attention to here is to connect a blue or yellow wire to Y letter. A lot of people get lost here, so stay focused. Five wire thermostat wiring. This is the same as the four wire, but it only has an additional C wire. Thermostats with five wires are the most versatile ones as they allow you to control everything from furnaces to air conditioners and heat pumps. There's an additional black wire that you need to connect to the C terminal. Other than that, everything is the same as the four wire thermostat. And that's it. We've got all of the basics covered and you should be able to replace and install the new thermostat without spending money on professionals. We also have a free cheat sheet with 28 tricks that can help you save on your electricity, heating or cooling bill each month. Go to link in the description to download it.